Hi, I wanted to show you today an example of a way to come to Scripture. Really, any portion of Scripture that teaches us about who God is. And today, this is going to be modeled after Genesis 1-1 and the attributes of God that we can see through that text. And the three questions that you'll come with is, what does this teach me about God? What does this teach me about man? And how can I obey? Because anytime we come to scripture, we can learn about God knowing it's a narrative about him first and foremost. There's also ways we can examine ourselves in light of who he is and what he's revealed to us through the power of the Holy Spirit. And also there's a response in obedience. And so this um, foldable is a way to be able to answer those three questions with any text of scripture that teaches us more about who God is. So um, the first thing we'll do is use a blank sheet of paper and you can fold it in half this way and then using a ruler um, to have straight lines, you can line it up here and draw a line straight across just on one side. Okay, and then for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and show you what it will look like if you draw lines all the way across and then using scissors, you'll cut up just one half of the foldable on the lines that you drew, okay? And so you'll have, this paper has seven flaps. And then to remind you of the questions, on the first side you can write God, knowing that we'll be asking what does this teach me about God? On the inside flap you can write man, what does this teach me about man? And then to answer the third question, how can I obey? You'll write obey at the top. Okay, so again, for the sake of time, I've already made one following Genesis 1-1. And so if we ask, what does this text teach us about God? We can see these attributes, Elohim, eternal, ex nihilo, omniscient, omnipotent, and self-sufficient. So I'll go through each of these with a definition and feel free to pause the video so you can write these down, um, the exact attributes and definitions. So we'll start with Elohim. God is the creator of all. There is only one God. I actually might turn it this way so we can focus on one at a time. Okay, then the second attribute is eternal. God is not limited by and exists outside of time and space. The third attribute, ex nihilo, God created out of nothing. The fourth one, omniscient, God holds all knowledge. Omnipotent, God holds all power. And then finally we see God is self-sufficient. God needs nothing. And again, feel free to pause the video if you'd like to copy any of these down or need more time. The next question that we ask with any portion of scripture is what does this teach me about man? Okay, and some of these are an exact opposite of God, knowing that we're different from him. And some of these, we have a portion of his attributes of his character and his quality because we've been made in his image. And so as you examine the text, your answers may look a lot like this example, um, or if they look different, that's all right too. But um, the power of the Holy Spirit can teach us as we come to scripture to learn more about ourselves. So in light of Elohim, God is the creator of all. There is only one God. I wrote, man has a tendency to bow down to created things rather than Elohim, creator God. Okay, the second attribute, and again, feel free to pause this if you need more time. Eternal, God is not limited by and exists outside of time and space. Man is bound by and exists within a specific time and space. The third one, ex nihilo, God created out of nothing. We see man's creativity is the vaguest whisper of the creativity of God. Man's creativity is a rearrangement of created materials. The next attribute, omniscient, God holds all knowledge. Man holds limited knowledge. 
omnipotent, God holds all power. We see that man holds limited authority and often attempt to convince God to bend to our will. And finally, self-sufficient, God needs nothing. What does this teach about man? Man is needy and our needs should constantly turn our hearts back to God who meets our every need. So feel free to copy these exactly or um, as you come to scripture, write out your own definition. What does this teach us about man? And then finally, how will I obey is the third question. And so for the sake of time, I listed two examples, but yours will be a personal um, example as the Holy Spirit um, teaches your heart how to obey in response to who he is and who he's revealed man to be. So I focused on two attributes. We've said God is eternal and not limited by existing outside of time and space. Man is bound by and exists within a specific time and space. So the way I will obey is by acknowledging my limits and being present with my children rather than distracted by the temptation of technology that often tells me I can be fully invested in multiple places at once. My time is fading. I will invest here and now. The next attribute of God, omniscient, God holds all knowledge. We've seen that man holds limited knowledge. And so my response and obedience I will obey by trusting on hard days instead of craving the illusion of control that comes with more information, thinking the more I know about the future, the more peace I'll have. I'll acknowledge truth. The more I know him, the more peace I'll have as I trust with where he has set limits on my knowledge. I will abide. And so try to make these responses and obedience as specific as you can. Um, yeah, and trust the Spirit to teach your heart how to obey as we come to Scripture. So again, just really quickly, with any text, we know that the Bible is a narrative that teaches us about God. Um, through all 66 books, we learn about Him. And in light of learning what we do about God, we can also clearly see what He teaches us about ourselves. And then our response should always be obedient. So hopefully this foldable will um, help you as you approach Scripture with those three questions to know how to be um, a doer of the word.